So this is Georgetown, Washington DC. How do you know that? I just read it in the titles as we came in. This must be where that little girl lives, but how do we find her house? We will just have to sink it again. There's a house down there with a light in the window. That must be it. Okay, let's go down. Let's follow this fellow, he looks like a priest. Look at that sign. This definitely is the place. Wait till he goes in, and then we will follow him. Where did that priest go? Probably gone looking for his free pea soup. What was that noise? It came from that upstairs room. We should go have a look. I think you should go first. This whole thing was your idea. Open the door Dorothy. You. Open the door. But Dorothy is at the top of the stairs. I'll soon be at the bottom, if this keeps up. Out of my way, I will open the door. Wait till I get down, will you? Remember, the devil, or I should say Donald, said he had nothing to do with this. It's just someone's idea of a bad joke. Well, I can take a joke, but this is something else. Come on Marilyn, open the door. You poor thing, whatever happened to you? Come on. That music is from The Omen. This is an exorcist sketch. We're working with amateurs here. Oh dear. You don't look too well. That's a bit of an understatement. You shouldn't do that. You'll give yourself a terrible headache. Do it again. One good turn deserves another. That bed looks really comfortable. Do you mind if I take a nap? Mr. Cloudman, please. Well, I'm tired. I haven't slept in a real bed for years. This is more like it. Just let me know when the pea soup's coming. I'll have to get myself psyched up for that one. Your bedtime conversation leaves a lot to be desired. Mr. Cloudman, get out of that bed. We are here to help this poor little girl. You could start with a makeover. Her hair and her teeth are disgusting. You are spoiling the scene. Can't you see I'm playing to the gallery? They love this stuff. <coughs> Sounds like the pea soup's coming. I'm out of here. Where are you going? I'm going to get a bucket. I think that we might need a bigger bucket. Now I'm gonna need a ladder. Why do you need a ladder? To see what she's up to. Your jokes are getting worse. It's a difficult scene to ad lib. What is your name little girl? Uh, in time. Baron! I am no one. I am no one! Fear the priest! That settles it. She's no one. Let's get out of here. No. We came here to help her. If you ask me, She's beyond help. Nobody asked you. Okay, big man. What's your opinion? I don't know. I am finding this whole thing really scary. Are you finding this scary? After all, it's just made up. That not so little girl is just an actress, or an avatar, if you like, with lots of yucky makeup on and the pea soup vomit isn't real. 
the scary sounds are only tapes played backwards and the rest is just ropes and pulleys and things. None of us including the writer know where this is going after this, so any suggestions will be seriously considered. Who are you talking to? I was talking to camera number one, or was it two? Whoops. For fuck's sake. Cut, cut, cut. Right everyone, lift the set walls and we'll find out what happened here. I'll tell you what happened. I fell on my ass. That's what happened, and get this filthy grease off my face. Sorry about that Lindy. Makeup and wardrobe over here. Well, that's the end of this scene. I'm glad of that. It was a bit heavy. But we still have to help the little girl. Come on Marilyn. There's no possessed little girl. It's only make-believe. Where did that priest go? The one we followed here. Oh my goodness! What is going on? What a load of old tosh. Who the hell are you? All right, no need to shout. You've just ruined our set. Get out of this studio now. Okay, bye. Goodbye, goodbye. Can I have everyone's attention, please? We could do with a recap of this episode because I am totally confused. It doesn't take much to confuse you. Please, let him go on. I am confused too. Oui. Please go on. Now this episode started when Dorothy said that she would like to visit a nice little farm, on a warm sunny evening, where we met a sad little man who was singing a sad little song. Right? Then you, Mr. Cloudman, made a careless remark which led to us meeting the devil, who turned out to be a nice chap called Donald. Donald was upset because he had been blamed for demonic possession of a little girl, and we decided to visit here to clear his name. Am I right so far? Okay. Then we get here and find that it is only a film set. Confusion is not a strong enough word for this. My head is spinning. You are confused. My head is spinning too. Well, that's nothing new. How are we going to get out of this one? Let's just think it all away. Oh Marilyn, don't you realize that having us think ourselves into the next scene is a trick that the animator always uses when he has painted himself into a corner and doesn't know how to get himself out of it? What was that? I think someone just shot that guy who was playing tubular bells. That is as good an excuse as any to be out of here. Let's go. We have to be off now Lindy. I hope the film is a big success. Now I have to find my cat. He stayed at the bottom of the stairs. He didn't want to be a part of this rubbish. Animals have a sixth sense you know. Whoever took that shot at the tubular bells fella, must have missed. Second time lucky. I wonder what the animator has in store for us now? It can't be any worse than the last scene. That poor little girl, we just left her there. Time for a blank stare at the camera. Let's just relax and see where he takes us. Sounds like a good idea. <laughs>